So what we're going to do now is to look at video. So how to add video to play from within your digital magazine. So to do this, we need to be in the design tab, the middle one, and in the interactive section. There's a number of ways you can add video. So we're going to go through all three options. First of all, you can either have the video play from embedded within the page or within a separate layer in a window of its own. Now the button here is embedded video button. That's to play from within a page. Or you have either the hotspot tool or the video button. So each are clickable objects on a page that launch a video in its own separate pop-up window. So it depends whether you want to play it from within or in its own window. Now we'll show you uh, all three options. So what we can do is go to our first page and you'll notice that this PDF has been designed specifically for this use. So it was designed with an iPad here with a video to play within it. So what I can do is grab my embedded video button, draw where I want the video to play from, and then just simply go off and find that video you want to play. So it can be MP4, MOV, FLV, or a YouTube ID that can be entered into this kind of browser box here. You can then auto start on page and add rollover text if you like, and OK. And just adjust that slightly to fill the box. So then you may come across times where you have video to play that doesn't fit specifically into an area. So I'll go to this page and you'll see this PDF was designed with an area to click on to launch a video. Now this video isn't designed to fit within this size box so it will work best if it plays in its own layer. Now I can use either a hotspot tool or the video button for this. It just depends how you want the look to be. I'm going to use a hotspot tool and I'm just going to draw over the area that I want to be clickable to launch the video, not from where it's going to play from. Then I select video and again it can be these file formats. I have one saved on my computer here and open. Again I can add rollover text and here just to make it more prominent that it's a clickable area I might want to just change the kind of rollover color so I'll make that red and I can make that transparency and OK. If you wanted to you could also use the video button so in the same respect you might draw your button here Again, grab the video and OK. So let's take a look at how these would look in our preview window. So I'm just going to hit preview here. And here it's open so you can see immediately on our first page we have the embedded video that's playing automatically because we asked it to auto start on page. So that's playing away. If we move inside the publication to our other sample, we had this hotspot, which I can click to play the video clip, or I could click the button here. So it all depends on how you want that to look. Then if I click on this, it launches my video again with, I can fast forward and so on. So that's two ways, three ways, sorry, of launching the video. Closing the preview, you can change any of the colors by just double clicking and coming in the advanced tab here and changing that as well.